Hello everyone and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, well, I've got myself an NVMe SSD. Now this is something that I've never done. I've always dabbled with external SSDs because I've never really had the need to upgrade my machine unless I got the ASUS ROG Strix G15, the Advantage Edition from 2021. So that's why I thought let's upgrade the internal storage because it does come with one terabyte of internal storage. I've already connected another one terabyte of external storage with the SanDisk Extreme Pro, but well, I'm still gonna <laughs> upgrade the storage with yet another one terabyte. I decided to go in with the SSD 980 by Samsung because hey, it's one of the cheapest SSDs, internal SSDs that to NVMe M2 SSDs that you can get for your money today and uh, with decent speeds because it states that it can read up to 3500 MB per second. So that's the claim. So we'll get to find out as to you know how it actually performs. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my baby here and I'm doing this for the first time. I'm really nervous because it's also got these LED lights and uh, from what I've seen, the uh, uh, fittings internally are pretty I wouldn't exactly call it flimsy, but you really have to have delicate hands to carry out this operation. Now, for this, you need to have the right equipments as well. But before we get to that, let me just tell you that this is a one, to a one terabyte storage. Now, it's advertised as a being um, available for 16,199 on the box, but let me tell you that it's available for less than 9,000 Indian rupees. All right, so that's how cheap it is. Now, I always give you information on the box, but there is nothing to talk about here because there's nothing that is stated on the box. So I'm just going to get right into it. And you need certain tools to be able to carry out this uh, operation <laughs> properly. So you need a toolkit like this so that you don't damage your laptop. And uh, you need things like these so that, uh, again, you don't damage your laptop. So if you want to open up your laptop as well, you want to make sure that you've got stuff like this. I know it looks like, you know, one of those things that you play the guitar with, but trust me, you don't want to damage your machine. So get yourself a proper toolkit. That is what I would recommend or suggest. Now, as far as the box itself goes, it's, well, it's uh, packed. You've got a sticker here. So I'm just going to quickly open it and I'm going to show you what's inside. Okay, so the seal's been broken. Let's take this out. Well, a box inside a box. I always like that with Samsung SSDs, you know I mean? They do a very good job of packing them. So it's kind of like an extra protection that you get. Uh, always appreciated, always is. So let's take this out. And this is a really small piece of storage device. I'm kind of surprised how technology has come so far that uh, this offers you one terabyte. Man, it's phenomenal. So this is quite small. It's smaller than I imagined it would be. And to hold it in, you know, my hand, it's very light. So you gotta be careful with all these things. I'm just gonna place it here. Well, what else is there in the box? Uh, is there anything else in the box? I'm just gonna carefully place it here so that I don't kind of damage it or do anything wrong with it. Okay, so uh, what else is here? Well, you've just got a booklet, that's about it. And you've got a sticker on the booklet as well. Wow, so there's some warranty information as well. So there's nothing else there, that's it. It's just the SSD and you kind of, you know, can't expect anything more than that as well. So I'm just gonna very carefully place this here. All right, and I'm gonna keep it aside. Now I'm gonna bring up the tools and I'm gonna open up my beauty here. I'm doing this on my couch so that, you know, it has a soft uh, kind of a, a support at the bottom because you don't want to scratch your laptop, that is. So make sure you're keeping your laptop on a soft, uh, you could say, uh, uh, surface, yeah? So let's get started and let's uh, try to unscrew this and open this. By the way, make sure you keep a box handy, you know, where you can actually drop these screws. So. I don't have a magnetic screwdriver, but a magnetic screwdriver would definitely help more than a non-magnetic one. But let's unscrew this very carefully and make sure you don't lose the screws. 
and uh, you're doing this very very carefully you can count them as well if you want to but it's pretty obvious so yeah just gently remove all the screws once you open it you have to be very very careful because you know the led light strips it's connected by these two little strips that you see here and i won't exactly call them flimsy again but you have to be very very careful all right with this now this is where you slot in your ssd so what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to take the screw off i'm going to slot in that ssd here and then i think you know we're going to be good with this but again let me tell you that you've got to be very very careful with these two led strips and also make sure that you are very very careful while you are um you know taking this lid off because sometimes you know you might just end up damaging it so all you got to do is just take your ssd slot it right in and here you go all you got to do is just put those i mean that particular screw back and don't you don't need to screw it hard all right okay i'm just going to zoom in a little bit just to show you where it's slotted in well there you have it slotted in carefully now i haven't screwed it in really hard it's just there you know it's it's just kind of holding it so it's just there mission successful so far so that's it i mean the operation is done so all i'm going to do is now put the lid back in and again you've got to gently bring this back in and you've got to make sure that it clips in properly all right so let's hear that sound just give me one second going to just zoom out quickly and i'm going to show you that so make sure you get that satisfactory sound from everywhere before you finally screw it all in so for instance you know i mean if you take a look at it here that it needs to give you that satisfactory crunching sound and make sure there are no gaps all right make sure it's sealed all sealed in here for instance i could see that gap so you just press in and make sure that that goes away so now the process is very simple all i'm going to do is just screw things back in and uh, yeah that's about it the first thing that i'm really happy about <laughs> is that i haven't damaged the led lighting as you can see the led lighting is voila working absolutely fine okay i very quickly want to state that the drive would not show up here on explorer i've got my c drive i've got my d drive which is my sandisk external ssd so i've connected it in one of the usb ports but that's not something that should concern you or but should worry you because what you've got to do is you've got to head over to settings and you've got to go over to manage disks and volumes here all right so system settings then over to storage then over to disks and volumes then it will show up here as you can see it's showing right there samsung ssd 980 1 terabyte and all you got to do is just create the volume you can give it a name like let's call it samsung 980 all right so the drive letter is e because i've got my c drive i've got my d drive and this now is going to be an e drive you can choose a file system all right so ntfs or uh, only ntfs shows up all right and uh, if you want to see the advanced settings then you can just take a look at that as well and um, we're just going to leave everything as is and we're going to quickly hit on that format so now what happens is as soon as you hit that format i'm confident that it's going to show up here as well i'm just going to refresh this oh brother close this i'm going to come here and open up the file folder again so here you can see it it now shows up very clearly here that samsung is now available as a drive so sometimes you know the refresh does not work it is always advisable that you close the window completely all right and go to your explorer again so if it does not show up on refreshing don't be worried just open up the, a new tab again of explorer and you should be able to see your samsung drive here and here yeah you can do anything with this drive now
So mission successful. All right, let me just show you some quick read and write speeds as well. First of all, I'm going to show you the read and write speeds of my SanDisk Extreme Pro drive. So I'm just going to select the target drive and I'm going to select the SanDisk Extreme Pro SSD. And um, let's do a speed test here. Now, please note this is an external SSD. It's not an internal SSD. And the claim that they have on that one is that it's going to give me a read and write speed of close to around 1050. So here, as you can see, the write speed is around 700 and the read speed is around 880. So no matter how many times you do this test, it's going to re return most likely the same results, plus or minus, you know, you could say five to 10%. So this time around as well, you know, it's giving me 880 read speed. So I'm just going to stop it here. Now, this was my Samsung drive. Sorry, this was my SanDisk Extreme Pro drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the target and this time, you remember we formatted the Sam Samsung 980. I'm going to select that and I'm going to run the speed test and voila, immediately I'm getting four times the speed here. So it's definitely way faster than connecting an external SSD. And you can see the read and write speeds. So they advertise that it's going to give you up to 3,500 MB per second. And it's comfortably giving me somewhere around 2,500 here for the write speed and 2,850 for the read speed which is superb. It's excellent. In fact, yeah. So yeah, this basically completes my video on this. We did the operation. We seamlessly put in the SSD into my Asus Rogue Strix G15 Advantage Edition from 2021 an all AMD machine. And uh, you could clearly see what the read and write speeds were. And uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, then please feel free to write them in the comments. And um, I'll uh, put in every effort to make sure that I get back to you as soon as I can and uh, respond back to your questions or queries about this. And uh, apart from that, if you've liked the content, then I would appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button and also that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. Now, with that said, it's a wrap for this one. I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe and may God bless you all.